Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Keeper Roguelike, and of course, to the Keeper Catbeard of Tanda. Right, now, in this episode, one of the first things I'm going to be doing is adding a little bit of light to our workshop, because, you know, it helps to be able to see what you're crafting. Next, though, we're going to go to the library. Now, traps, super useful, but geology, more useful, because geology opens up your awareness of uh, minerals and materials around your dungeon. Wow, really? That's all we found? That is such a bad roll. Such a bad roll for us. Now, the dwarves will have some. And I'm very tempted to go down there and, you know, just start killing them all and stealing their stuff. It's easier than us having to gather it ourselves. But let's at least go and gather this, I guess. Um, that will eventually be a nice room, you know? It will eventually become something good. I'll I'll dig it out ready. Down here though, possibly less so. Still, let's go all the way down and then across and then dig out a little bit of a room down there. Okay, so there we go. We've got given our imps something to uh, worry over. Now, my keeper just went off and equipped some things. If we have a look at my keeper right now, we'll notice he's currently wearing a leather glove, his robe that he started with, and leather boots. He's got skill of sorcery 20%. Oh, actually, he's not as good as the... Uh, now, that's interesting. He's not as good as the shamans, but he does a little bit. Oh, no, sorry. Mana production, 100%, but sorcery, 20%. So, uh, I'm not actually sure what that means. Maybe his spells are just not as good. Uh, that surprises me, though. But we'll see that his level is slowly going up. And we can see his basic stats, attack, defense, his strength, his dexterity, his accuracy, and his movement speed, I think that is. Um, I believe someone is he's casting spells. What the dickens? Why are people casting spells? Our imps, you can see, yeah, that is their moves. Imps are fiendishly fast. They're crazy, crazy fast. Fast. Uh, orcs, let's have a look at one of the highest level orcs. What? Why? Why do you have no accuracy? What, the dickens? Are you alright? Oh, you're sleeping. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so 22, 20, 19, 17, 17. Where's my keeper? It's not that far off, I guess. Is quite comparable in terms of raw damage output. Not as good in terms of his defense by a fair margin. And generally, the orcs are just stronger. The orc shamans, as you can imagine, not very defensive, but they can be quite dangerous when they've studied enough spells that they can cast the high level um, keeper spells. Because honestly, that's one of the things that makes the keeper so powerful is that you can control him. He's not bad in combat but specifically he is very dangerous with his high level magic if you've got an orc shaman who's got equivalent magic then you're probably safer just using the orc sh shaman uh, our wolves very high attack not very much defense though that's that's a shame are they all asleep they probably are oh, actually no, they're all more or less the same in terms of uh, the accuracy really did you need to it's like, oh yes, I'm going to go and get this pig and devour him, but uh, I can't be sure that I'm going to win, so I'm going to cast a spell first. <sighs> I don't know. Now, it takes much longer for your imps to dig out uh, any kind of resource. That takes a lot more time, but we are slowly accruing these resources, and I'm very, very happy with that. Now, one thing you can do, and one thing I tend to like to do, is, again, much like the uh, beasts around here, Take a little area off, nearer to the to the front of your of your fort. It, it, this is just the way I like to do it. You might might want to do it otherwise, but uh, I like to add in a graveyard, a graveyard towards the the front. So again, because undead are typically a bit stronger than than animals. There there are exceptions, but uh, generally speaking, your undead are going to be some of the the, the more powerful and uh, quite quite dangerous combatants you might have, especially because they don't tend to die if you cut off their head. Which, unfortunately, is a very easy way that a lot of your other creatures are going to meet their end. Yeah, you know, you know, orcs not so good at fighting when, when their bodies have been separated from their brain box. However, not a big problem for a zombie. I mean, it loses its accuracy massively, but it can still flail its arms and do quite a chunk of damage. And vampires, they're pretty potent because they're vampires. It takes a while to get them, though. It's hard. Uh, pretty much in the in the early game, that's what all my stone is reserved for. 
is getting a decent sized graveyard up and running. Uh, I would love to put the, the stone floors down in the graveyard specifically, but we're not going to be able to. You know what I'm going to do, though? I am going to give my wolves some uh, proper wooden flooring. I'm going to do it over here as well. I don't think this actually affects the beds in any way, but these, you'll notice that they've got efficiency. Now, the efficiency is based on a couple of things, namely the flooring. You'll, you'll have noticed that different flooring had different numbers by it, and this is how it'll affect the efficiency. You can also reinforce walls, but that takes extra stone. But that will also uh, improve efficiency better. Do be aware that walls are... That, that these um, furnishings are... They block passage. So you might need to demolish them to reinforce the walls behind them and then rebuild them again later on. Right. Okay, so uh, my keeper's actually doing a bloody good job of leveling up, I noticed. Very nice, nicely done there. 22 now on defense. Good. Good for you. I'm very pleased with that. You're as dexterous as the orcs. You're not as well defended as the orcs, however. Now, that could come down to the fact that orcs are wearing... Oh, no, you've actually already picked up some decent leather there. Okay, well, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's uh, check on my workshop. How's the workshop going? The last couple of bits of leather are being made. And then, at that point, every member... Uh, every humanoid member of my uh, of my dungeon will be fully equipped with leather armor that is made of wood don't ask questions okay <laughs> just just roll with it it's magic however the wooden club makes perfect sense and we'll we'll have quite a lot of those um, everyone will be equipped with a wooden club now that might not be the best weapon overall but it it's gonna help out now alchemy would allow us to start making potions that is super useful but really what I would like to do is either go for archery or traps. Traps is what I'm probably going to go for because it's so, so useful. Now, it's getting pretty pretty dark out. It's night time. This would be the good time to go out and uh, attack people. However, I would be a little bit concerned. Now, unfortunately, I strongly suspect that my orcs can no longer gain any levels up off these training dummies. You may have noticed um, there are different training dummies. These ones will add up to three experience levels to the creature when you get them. The iron dummy will add up to seven experience levels. And the steel dummy will add up to 12 experience levels. That's on top of what level they naturally start at. I think all creatures basically have a baseline that they, they start with. Uh, I imagine my keeper is more or less going to stop at eight, I'm going to guess. Much like the remainder, the, the orcs. Now, I wouldn't mind going and trying to take on a dwarf. And I would really like to take my keeper because the spells are going to be crazy useful. But I would also super duper hate losing my keeper first thing. You know, that, that would just feel really dumb. So dumb. So I think we're going to be going with uh, Kara, the Orc Shaman. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Now, I do believe you can actually rename them. Can you? Yes, you can rename. Ah, if only I had prepared a name list. Tell you what, leave me a comment on this video or the other videos in, in the series and I will just pluck names randomly. We're going to go through names like crazy. I'm going to put that down there right now. We are not going to... This, this is not going to be like RimWorld where it's very uncommon for anyone to die and we make a big song and dance and put them in a, in a Muslim. No, we're going to be losing minions left, right and centre. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to be needing a lot of names. I'm just going to be plucking them randomly from anyone who comments on the videos. Um, but yeah, I will I will get to that. So hopefully, Kara is still alive when uh, when we start to rename and, and we can set them up properly. Now, you're level two. I would like you to... Level 2.2, how, how is that? Oh, you're getting little bits of levels from killing the, the pigs. That is remarkably funny. You see, they're very hard to level up because they cannot train. So they can only get better through combat. So, now I want to make a new team where you will be the leader. And I want all of the other orcs to go with. There we go. And we are now going to control this group. Go. Now, all minions gain a big morale boost, and morale does matter. They get a big morale boost from being led by the Keeper. You know, it's having having the, 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 the big bad evil personally lead the army it makes everyone feel a little bit more important to have been brought along. However, uh, not, not in the mood to lose the game just yet. And the Keeper needs a little bit more time to level up and generally get really, really awesome. However, we have got some pretty good spells with this shaman. Now, are the rest there yet? Yes, they are good. Oh, 
Let's let that go through. Now, if you've got any creatures in the party who have, like, night vision, they would let you know. Uh, you would be able to see much better, and especially with um, things like crows, which can see through forests. Crows are amazing for that. Bats, I think, have basically night vision. For all intents and purposes, thanks to their um, echolocation. Yeah, the dwarf died here. No gold on the dwarf, though. Hmm. Now, what are you? You... Out of Dwarf. Level 11. Attack 28. Defense 25. Not particularly uh, happy at the moment. That's right. Get in there. Kill that Dwarf. I'm going to go around the other side. Here's the cave bear corpse. Ha-ha! You're not escaping. No. Oh, okay. You're a dangerous Dwarf. Attack 38. Defense 30. Wielding a Warhammer. Very merry because he's killing things. You know what? Shutting you down right now. Cast the sun ray. The orc. What? The orc is stunned. The dwarf is stunned. The orc kicks the dwarf. Why? Why is that? Orc? Why? Why are you stunned? Why have you got to be so dumb? Um, I would like to hasten myself, and then I would. Mm, I'm not going to summon insects. I'm going to let the orcs get in there and start wailing on them. Now, can I cast healing? Have you managed to take him out? Uh, we've lost one of our orcs. That is a shame. That is a shame. Can you take him out? No? Let's get down there and take him out, please. That's right. No, he doesn't want to tangle with the orc. That's good. Ow, ow, it hurts. It hurts so much. Thankfully, I'm magic. And I can heal myself. But I can only do that now and again. I really should have made sure that I brought um, healing kits before we went on this fight. That was silly of me. The orc misses the dwarf. The dwarf swings his warhammer swiftly. The crush is harmless. Good. Your, your armor is protecting you, and I am pleased by this. Now, we can uh, press space for the moment. Let's... Uh, oh, you're going to get walloped, aren't you? Will you please trade spaces with... Uh, he's dead. That's right. Let him... Fight him there. Pin him. Kill him on the corpse of the miasma. Ki oh, dear. That is unfortunate. Can you please hurry up and kill him? <sighs> okay, well, now I can stun him. There we go. The dwarf can't move now. Can we take him out? He's going to come out of that stand in a moment, I'm fairly certain. No, there we go. Victory is ours. I lost four of my orcs. Okay, it's not, not great. However, this place is now ours. So all I'm going to do is I'm not going to c collect everything because that's peon's work. I mean, I'm controlling a peon right now, but uh, still. There we go. I've opened all the chests, and we are going to claim this area as our own. Now, unfortunately, there is a little bit of miasma in here, but that's generally okay. And we're just going to move very quickly over this way. In fact, I'm just going to press U, and I'm going to allow my forces to head back. Ooh, we've got some new creatures. We've got a goblin. Goblins are super cool because they can disarm traps. They're also amazing workers. They're training at the moment, but they can work in pretty much every type of industry. I think they're the only creature that can. Ogres might be able to as well, because ogres are pretty uh, pretty hot on the industry as well. But uh, there we go. Fantastic. We got a, got a chunk of mana from that. But now, what we can do down here is claim these areas. So, as you notice, these tiles don't have the, the little purple mark. That shows this is my key. This is my, uh, my territory. This belongs to our dungeon. Well, what I want to do down here is say that all of this belongs to my dungeon. There we go. Did it work? Probably didn't. No. Have I got a... Uh, I've got a connect over there. There we go. I think. Maybe? No? Have I got to do this manually? Because that's just super annoying. Oh, man. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, let's just make sure that I've got everything. It's all connected. And then, once I do this... My minions are going to be like, oh, right, okay, well, that's our stuff now, so we best go and grab it. There we go. Perfect. I really super don't want these, though, so I'm going to remove these constructions. Can I Can I remove them? Can, can you, No, can I not remove them? That is annoying. An imp is killed by a boar. What? Why are the boars killing my imps? Damn it, those things cost mana. How annoying. I'm going to have to... I've got six imps. Uh, no, we're not going to cast another imp. What I want is traps. I, ooh, advanced sorcery would be super good, but traps is what we're going to go for. Now our workshop can make traps. Now, the trap, the nice thing with traps, you don't need to specifically make it and then place the trap. You can actually just say, I want this trap made. 
and they'll go and they'll make it for you. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll keep the correct stock of traps for the traps that you've laid down. Now, I would like this little... Oops, sorry, imp. I would like this little area in here to be set up with some traps. I would like the traps to be gas traps, there and there. Now, this little area is not going to be particularly strong because it's very close to the outside, so the gas is going to dissipate super fast. Super duper duper fast. However, what I would like down here, some webs. Um, because in this area, I actually want them to start moving through and getting gassed quite badly. Um, there as well. I would like a door there. And because I don't want them to see the trap that's just over there, I'm going to put a door there. And I'm going to put... I'm not going to put a door down... Well, maybe I should put a door down there, actually. Because ultimately, if they... Well, no. No, I want them to try and flee in this direction, because basically it's a dead end. Now, this is where um, this trap is going to gonna really come into its own. Now, those who've watched my previous uh, Keeper RL videos know how I like to set up boulder traps. Basically, in the direction they're coming. Now, typically I would put a boulder trap here, and they'd come down there, and then they'd, they'd see the boulder trap. And because the boulder moves, and then you move, and, and generally speaking, everyone moves at the same speed... They could just back up. The first person will probably die because they'd be stuck in a web trap and the boulder will crush them. But I'm wasting a lot of, of stone to make these boulders to kill just one person. And it doesn't matter what it was. It could be a bandit, which we could easily kill ourselves. Or it could be a knight. So what happens is I'm leaving these areas, like, over here. My hope is that when they see the boulder, they're like, oh no, we've got to escape. But they'll just simply try to move directly away from the boulder rather than like, all right, we came from this way. We should filter down this place where it's safe. They'll just go down here, which they don't necessarily know is a dead end, and either get crushed with a boulder or I'll have another boulder there. So the moment they try to run down there, all of a sudden they, they caught between a rock and another re really big rock, and they're both moving very fast and, you know, momentum and squish. Uh, we want gas traps to fill that area there. I won't put the one there because they'll tend to move diagonally. Now over here, lots of gas traps. That's pretty much all I want going down here. Gas traps, gas traps, gas traps, gas traps. Uh, we'll have... Yeah, sure, we'll have three gas traps. The, I, gas is very nice because it forces the enemies to use up all of their healing kits initially because the, the gas will, will really badly wound them. And so they'll be encouraged to just dump their equipment and start using their, their um, healing kits and, and things like that. And so, should they actually meet my my minions, they're going to be in really poor health by the time they do. I want some gas traps here. I, I do, uh, yeah, I, I do, do want some gas traps there. I'll place this in there. I'm going to hope that we can move diagonally past the boulder. We might not be able to, and this might, you know, mess everything up. Let's we'll see how that Right, so everything is going okay there. Let's have a look at our minions, shall we? We've got still got two orc shamans. We've got four orcs. They're leveling up. Let's get you all down there. It's fine. Um, goblins. I'm going to leave the goblins doing their goblin-y things. Currently, they are working on the workshop. And that's taking an awful lot of wood. So let's go ahead and chop down some more wood. Uh, sorry, Forrest. Actually, no, I'm not sorry at all. There we go. Get all of that. Now, out here, I would also like to place down another eyeball. Now, the thing with the eyeballs is they do cost mana, which is typically something you don't want to just use up willy-nilly. But they're very, very useful because they, they provide line of sight in a very large area. A very large area. However, at night time, they can only really provide line of sight to places which are illuminated. So you want to put torches down. Just so you can see things moving along your walls, you know, skulking around. Uh, down here, in directly this point here, I don't know what my keeper is up to. I'm going to want an alarm trap. If anything gets down here, then I want everything to wake up and come and deal with it. Um, I could, you know, just have poison gas just running down there. Because I don't really want to stop them from getting down there, you see. Uh, I ultimately want to stop them by the time they reach this point. I want to trap them. 
but I don't want to stop anyone from moving down there because it might stop other people from moving through there as well. So I really, I just want like gas traps around here, really. Just add extra death. Super potent death. Lots and lots. Potent death everywhere. There we go. Okay, training room upgrade needed. We, we now need to upgrade the training room in order to be able to have our minions uh, train any further. So it's time for us to have another look at the library. Now, the next thing that we're going to be... What we want is iron working for that. It's a little ways away. And also, we want advanced geology. Archery is very good because we can start making bows straight away. Eh, we'll probably wait on that one, though. Now, have our... Um, oh, our minions will not have brought any gold because I have not given us a throne room. Or, well, a treasury. I like to have my gold in my throne room. For obvious reasons. I'm going to make a little... Little throne room up here, and it's going to be look look very very cool. Um, yes, I like that. We'll we'll build it up off the uh, library. I could have put the throne room in there, but I, I'd prefer to have the throne room just back there. Right, what's going on down here? They've pretty much brought everything up now. Some of my minions will have some amazing gear. Let's have a look. Who picked up that chainmail in the end? Yeah, here we are. So 25. You've got chainmail plus 5. Did anyone get any amazing weapons? Oh, my keeper. Now, this is the thing. This is why you want to level your keeper up. Because as they level, they gain strength. Now, that equipment there would typically be too heavy for my keeper to wield. But now my keeper is wielding a really powerful weapon. Well, you know, comparatively to what, to what we're equipped with otherwise. My keeper now does 31 damage with 26 defense. That's not anything to be sniffed at. Um, now, I don't think my, my goblins... I think my goblins are too small to actually wear equipment, which is just kind of funny. Uh, but... I'm not going to want to deal with things. My keeper, I don't think, can train anymore. So I'm going to allow my keeper to go back to studying and crafting until such a time as we get some better um, some better training dummies. Now, we've got a little room over here, which is fantastic. I would like to build some treasure chests. Now, I'm not going to be able to build the throne, because to build the throne, you need to have completely destroyed an enemy village, at least one. So instead, I'm just going to pop down some treasure in here. Uh, one treasure chest is enough to hold... Uh, quite a lot of gold. We'll add more as necessary. Now, these little alcoves I'm leaving around here, these are going to be for statues, and I'm probably going to have my throne right there. I'll have other treasure rooms if I need it, but this is going to be my, my really swanky room. For the time being, I'm not even going to put floors in there because I don't want to I don't want to sully it. I, th this needs to have regal carpet that costs loads of gold. I'm not actually going to use the gold for that, though. Not yet. I need the gold for other things to begin with. The gold I have specifically got a plan for, and that is as a lure for bandits. Because bandits really like gold, so they're going to show up to try and get my gold. And hopefully they're going to die on my traps and generally, you know, just all, all perish. And then I'm going to inherit their swords and their armor and any other things that they happen to be carrying with them. It's a very good way of doing things. So I actually like to keep hold of the initial supplies of gold and just, just save it. Just save it up in there. Now, who died out here? A vulture skeleton, an imp skeleton, an imp skeleton. Ah, oh, poor imps. Um, now, unfortunately... Oh, yes, we did actually bring up the, the skeletons of the dwarves and the cave bear skeleton, actually. And they've been put in the graveyard, and eventually we may be able to get some, uh, some units there. Now, the thing with gold is we can use gold to build... Where is it? Installations. We can build a statue. It costs a lot of gold to make this. But when you do... The statue increases your population by one. I think certain evil deeds also increase your population, but you know it takes a it takes a bit of time to get to that point. So for the time being, uh, it's not something that we're going to be looking into doing. Now, how is everything else going? Uh, I think we're probably getting to the point where we actually want to go on an attack of another civilization. So let's actually have a look. Have we, uh, oh, actually, first let's check the, the fa uh, factions. Have we got, ah, there we are. Oh, dear. They're main villains. Why? Your evilness. Okay, we're evil enough now that they actually think they might take a shot at us. That is, as it happens, really bloody bad. We do not want them to do this. 
they will kill us. So I'm going to actually put that into advanced sorcery. This way, my keeper now has the escape spell. Very useful. I can basically get out of trouble. To, it's, a, it's a limited distance teleport. It may be enough to keep us alive. Probably won't be. I'll be honest. It's not looking good. Um, what I am going to go and do, though, is... Yeah, we're going to want some uh, first aid at this point. So I'm going to change that number. I want 10 first aid um, kits so that my minions can at least uh, heal themselves out and about. Additionally, I would like to further dig away these things. Uh, that is really very unfortunate. I was hoping I wouldn't draw the attention of any of the main villains just yet, but uh, it seems that fate has conspired against me. I've still got a little bit of gold down there to bring in, but we've now at 281. I believe the, uh, the bandits will start to take note of your presence when you hit about 300 gold. After that, they may well... Uh, show up and demand payment in exchange for not attacking you. I never pay it because I actively want them to give it a shot and hopefully die horribly and then we, we upgrade our equipment as a result. Also, we gain a lot of mana from doing it like that. But maybe we need to give them a little bit of a nudge. It's night time, the best time for going out and killing things. I am going to actually take... You know what, I'm going to... Hmm... Yeah, we're going to take out our wolf pack with this group. I think that'll be quite fun. So, let's go ahead. We're controlling you. And now you just go to T for travel. At this point, I can choose where I want to go. An unknown ally. I could go and check them out. I could go and give the bandits a poke. I could go to the Dryad Village, give them a poke, but the Dryads are actually kind of dangerous because they, they really hide in the trees all the time and just kill us. Um, so maybe if we go and poke the bandits too hard, though, we might wipe them out. They're not a particularly strong group. They are strong. Uh, you know what? We actually haven't got much of a choice. We're going to go and poke the bandits then. Right, so that's the edge of the world. Let's move around. We are not here to do too much killing. We want to do enough. We basically want to farm the bandits. We want to annoy them. Hopefully, they will then attack us um, a little bit sooner. And also, we want to get some mana from killing people. You get more mana from killing innocents, I believe. So if you just come across a, you know, a little hamlet and murder all of the farm animals and the women and children and um, the farmers, yeah, as, as, as unappealing as that might be, it is the best thing to do in the game to generate ridiculous amounts of money. Oh, wait, we're meant to be even... No, that isn't unappealing. That's glorious. That's wonderful. We need to do that right now. Only we won't do it right now. I am going to explore this place out compulsively, cross the river by here. Now, some minions can swim, some minions cannot. If they cannot swim, they can only cross shallow water, and they do so slowly. If they can swim, however, they can go anywhere. Also, if they can fly, it's pretty much anywhere they can go. What I really don't want to do is come across the bandit... Oh, hello. No. Stop it. If I die to a bloody deer... Will you please destroy that thing? Thank you. I suck so bad. Oh, I mean, at least I was dodging it. Where are you, keeper? Uh, sorry, uh, bandits. I don't want to find a keeper yet. We will eventually be fighting two of them. And I'm going to call it now. If the regular NPCs don't kill us, the keepers probably will. Because, you know, their places are going to be full of traps. It's going to be really, really deadly to us. Now, we really... I would rather not be out here right now fighting. But the problem is that if we don't... We would probably end up... I'm sorry about the clicky-clacky of my keys. I like mechanical keyboards, but playing roguelikes, yeah, you really start to, to see the downsides to it. But um, with being out here right now, I just think we need to kickstart our training. There we go. We can see something. I do not want us to just wipe out that place. Oh, dear. Are my orcs doing it? No, no. Come this way, orcs. Oh, there's a way over here as well. Hmm. The main thing is not to kill the bandit leader. That is the main thing. And I think that one is, uh, because it's a big old area in there, is more than likely the bandit hideout. This? This? I don't know. This This is not what bandits do. Bandits don't build kobolds. Fantastic. We will slay the kobolds. Come here, the kobold. 
Cobalt's gum. Cobalt wolf. Uh, sorry, wolf. Oh. There we are. Someone who actually doesn't mind slaying it. Good. Excellent work. Uh, there's stone and stuff down here. We could come down here and take it all out if we wanted to. If we slay the bandits, we can basically pillage this entire area. Which is useful. Because it means that you get everything that was dropped there and you don't have to just come down here one trip at a time loading up your characters with ridiculous amounts of loot. Come on out. Face me with all of my minions around me. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Thank you. Now, before anyone else comes out, let's grab this sword. That is now our sword. Um, are there any more? I would really like it if there were more. Yep, yeah, that's a bit too much. Oh no, oh no, we lost lost our wolf. That is a shame. No, 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 don't, don't, don't kill the bandits. I don't want them all dead. I just want some of them dead. All dead is not good because we can't farm them then. We could also kill vultures if we really want to do. Bandit sword, what is this? That is a uh, bandit corpse again. I am wounded because I have been stood in a poison. I'm going to grab. Oh, grab. Uh, I'm going to stun you so that you can't hurt me while I'm picking this up. Then I'm going to grab. Then I'm going to heal myself. Then we are going to skedaddle at this point. We are going to go travel. And we're going to travel back to our keep. Confirm. There we go. We made it back. It was a, it was a successful raid. As long as we don't kill the bandit leader and too many of the bandits, then what will happen is they will replenish their numbers and we can continue farming them. And they will be a good source of swords and various other things and all that kind of stuff. I've got two decent, uh, three decent swords on me right now and a bunch of med kits. So you know that was that was quite good. And towards the end of the game, that is going to be one of the easier ways for you to come by anything because you'll run out of raw materials to build stuff with. So you can't just endlessly make stuff the way you used to be able to. Because um, you definitely could just endlessly make things previously. Which did make attacking an enemy dungeon ridiculously hard. And it was, it was a real, real problem because the goblins would just keep making stuff. Because they weren't using any resources to do it. Now, once they run out, they can't make any more weapons and things to equip more troops as you're trying to get in with an adventure and slowly slaying people and stealing their, their stuff. My keeper seems to have uh, earmarked something and is on his way right now to go and grab it. What are you going for, keeper? You wanted a medkit. Okay, very well. Let's have a look. Uh, you wouldn't have wanted a sword, no, of course, because you've got an amazing one. How about my orcs? Uh, they're pretty happy because they went out and they they murdered people. Eh, you know, it's, it's always, always nice for an orc. This one, that grey meant that it had reserved that item and was on its way to pick it up. But who else has got equipment? Um, you're doing okay. You've got some consumables. I don't believe the goblins can equip anything, and the imps certainly can't equip anything. Um, I'm surprised that the rest of the swords we had have not been picked up. There, there. They'll eventually go and pick them up, I, I, I think. Now then, we've got loads of wood in there. That's good. And, well, yeah, we got 92. We could go for alchemy, which would give us the ability to start making potions. Potions cost a mana to make. So it can actually be difficult to work with that. I would really much prefer waiting on the iron working. Uh, what I would really prefer, though, is for the enemy to come and fight it. So, at this point, I'm going to move to very fast. I've been avoiding that up to now because there was a lot of things I wanted to explain for any, any people who were new to, to the game. But you can move through different speeds. You can go slow if you need a bit more time to see what's going on. Normal, fast, and very fast. So we're going to pass a little bit of time. And hopefully, we'll be attacked by bandits and not by knights in shining armor. Because that'll, that'll end poorly. Calling it now, that will probably be the end of this keep. But this is the end of the episode. I do hope you're all enjoying the series. Again, I don't know how long we're going to be playing for. It'll certainly be to the end of this particular um, keep, whether we win or, or lose. If we do lose, and it hasn't been too many episodes, we might might do another based on, on whether people are enjoying the series or not. But uh, So do let me know in the comments. And of course, like if you liked, some if you haven't. But until next time, take care everyone.